what's going on guys glad to see you back again and today we are going to talk about some tips and tricks to help you get interstellar so i recently a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago was able to finally finish unlocking interstellar interstellar and i just wanted to bring some tips to you guys that i think might help you if you're on the grind as well um i mean if you've ever come to the streams you or if you've known me at all for a little bit you know i'm not the i'm not a pro player by any means i'm i consider myself an average player um i mean i have a full-time job i have two kids so it's, I, i'm i'm fairly busy all the time that's why i don't always get content out there immediately so i know i'm not the first person to get interstellar by any means but i feel like i'm an average player and i was able to get interstellar probably about a month and just some info about interstellar the mastery camo this year on modern warfare 3 in my opinion it is definitely one of the easier mastery camos that i have unlocked thus far um I, I i never got obsidian in in uh or not obsidian um damascus in modern warfare 19. i didn't get dark ether in cold black ops cold war i did however get dark ether i, I got the zombies mastery camo which that camo was fire um i never did vanguard vanguard it, it, vanguard kind of stymied me from trying a lot because they had a lot of issues with camo or challenges tracking at the beginning of it so it kind of put me it was a put off for me so i didn't continue on with it um i started to but then when things weren't tracking i was like all right i'm done i don't feel like doing it um modern warfare 2 was the first one that i really grinded the, the main mastery camo and i got orion that one it took me a, a couple months um i'm not gonna lie about that one but this one it took me roughly roughly a month or so to get this one done um so there's a lot of things i mean i, I like i said the, the camo challenges in this game in modern warfare 3 it's very similar to modern warfare 2 you have three base camos for every gun once you unlock the three base camos then you can do the gold challenge then you have to get every gun in that category gold um and then after you get every gun in that category gold then you have to get every one of those guns platinum also so like for instance uh the a the cat amr just go here so get all four of the base camos and every one of the base camos have been fairly simple and pretty straightforward to do they're all very fairly easy with a couple of outliers that are kind of tricky to do um but i'm going to give you some info some tips that i think might help that helped me to get them um as far as the mastery camos themselves go gold is fairly easy i don't know how well these are actually tracking but it's in a good way so for instance i found that some guns i was getting um let's see i think most of them are get kills without dying actually the cat amr is focus kills but on the guns that were like you had to get uh kills without dying let's see here i know i'm pretty sure the smgs were some of them so like 10 kills without enemy what was it 10 kills without an enemy damaging you okay i found that this was tracking even if i took damage at times i don't know how but you know what i'm gonna take it i don't care um the mass the the platinum challenges they were a little bit more challenging and that's where i once i got past gold and into the platinum challenges that's where i got into like my one of probably one of my biggest tips that i'm going to give most people and some people might like it some people might not i suggest to do any camos or if you're having a hard time with camos at all i would recommend going to the hardcore mode the hardcore modes can be very uh, chaotic at times because you die a lot faster because your health is far lower in uh in hardcore modes however to get certain things done like for instance long shots with an smg it just it's it's so much easier because with that lower health it means that you're able to kill people a lot easier um the uh the 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 priceless camo challenge in all reality i'm not i'm gonna be straight up with you every camo in here was easy to me to get until i got up to priceless prices camos were a little bit more of a challenge because they were a little bit more specific kind of challenges like get 15 headshots while moving with this uh with this uh striker nine right here um then some other challenges i want to say it might have been the sniper the cat amr was one was one of the weird ones i think actually it was the platinum challenge the platinum challenge was actually kind of difficult for the cat amr because you have to get penetration kills with this gun now that doesn't seem that difficult but um and i've seen lots of people find different ways to do this um some people were like you can shoot through the fences like on scrapyard you could shoot through this fences and it would count as a as a um as a uh, um as a penetration kill but one thing one trick that i found 
uh, in my experience when grinding this cannibal was on uh, shipment because when shipment came out, I found that if you put the the bullet penetration ammo on it and you sat in certain spots, you could like uh, you could see over a barrel and you could shoot and you could see spawn points, which is kind of a dick move. But you know what? I'm grinding camels. I'm not going to do it forever. Um, you could see over the barrels and with the penetration ammo, you could shoot through the barrels and get a penetration kill. So something like that. Um, let's see here. What else we got to talk about? Uh, let's see. Another thing I would give some advice on is going to be, in fact, get 10 kills with one magazine, which that, that I know I did not do on some of these. Some of these you had to get three kills without dying or yeah, three kills in one magazine. So three kills without dying, but also in one mag. I found that that was still tracking sometimes even when I wasn't. This was the bane of my existence because if you've if you've heard me at all on stream, you know that I hate the tactical stance. The tactical stance I think is one of the most unnecessary things that they added to this game and they made it a requirement. Having it in the game is one thing, but making it a requirement like for camos, now that I'm done with these camos, it's going to be turned off. I'm not using it ever again because I don't see that there's any point to using tax stance. Tax stance is basically like aiming down your sights but it's like hip firing. So it's like hip fire, but you're aiming down sights too, Even but the guns, I don't know. I don't like it. I think it was unnecessary that they did it. Unfortunately, the only way, the only few guns that you have to do it to, I have some, a tip for you on some things to use whenever you are doing that. Uh, for instance, let's see, this, this laser right here, the Corvus Heck Beam 5. Uh, there is a counterpart to this laser it does the same exact thing but it's called something dim different on the uh, some of the other guns i think it's called the hip shot um on some other guns i don't know why but there's different same attachments different guns are called different things sometimes um but the corvus pink peak beam 5 made tack stance um spread a lot tighter so this laser right here specifically i would recommend using if you're doing tack stance kills at all um and then this Bruin Tactical Vertical Grip, this also helped with tax stance a lot. Pretty much anything that helps with tax stance when you're doing tax stance kills, just go ahead and throw it on there because it's only gonna help you. Um, but it takes being able to get a kill in tax stance from like five, 10 meters to where you can get one at like 15 to 20 meters instead. And now if you combine this with playing in hardcore mode, it makes it even easier because everybody just dies super quickly in hardcore mode. And so it's a lot easier. Um, let's see what else uh knife kills were very easy actually i was really surprised um the the knife kills on these i mean just get kills with the knife the only thing that you have to do at the beginning is leveling them up which you can do that even in war zone or plunder if you want to now um i use zombies i think at, the, at first but honestly like a lot of people were talking about pile up glitches with the zombo zomb zomb zombies when um got a little bubble gump in me um when the zombies came out uh, they were talking about just level up in zombies, level up in zombies. Well, I tried that and I tried doing it in multiplayer and on all reality, doing it in multiplayer was just as fast uh, as doing it in zombies. So pick your preference there, whichever you want to do. I am grinding the zombies camos now that I am done with this. So uh, as far as back to the gutter knife goes, 50 kills and 10 operator kills affected by your tactical. That is probably the most hated challenge I had of, out of all these is getting kills with enemies affected by your tactical, meaning you have to stun them. You have to uh, gas grenade them. Uh, flashes, I don't know why, but when I tried flashes, it didn't seem like it worked. It never counted to, as far as I could tell. Um, but there are some SMGs that you have to do the same thing. You have to get um, kills while their people are affected by your by your tactical, which I guess electric kills would, uh, or like a stunt, uh, um, um, a taser, tactical. I don't remember what the, shock stick. That should count too. Try it. If it doesn't count, then just use stuns. Stuns were the only thing that consistently really worked for me, but... It was still sometimes difficult. It just aggravated the hell out of me. Um, kills without dying. Revenge kills. That one was interesting in which that one literally I just ran around the map with knife the whole time. Free for all was a good one to do because everybody is solo. So you can just run around, wait for somebody to kill you, and then just try to go kill them back. Um, I don't remember the Karambit if it was anything specific on this one. It was kills for the base camo. Kills affected by your stun. And this one was uh, kills without enemies damaging you, which, like I said, some of those still tracked. So, like I said, if you're wanting to go for the master camo, honestly, this year is definitely a year to do it. Oh, uh, LMGs I will talk about too. LMGs, there was one, one of the base camos was penetration kills. The best way to do this, I'm not going to lie, if shipment is available, do shipment. 
so on shipment on the two sides where you can walk through the containers there are spawn points on either side of that now you can only shoot through one way uh, of those containers um if i remember correctly the a uh the c the c side for domination the c flag you can shoot through to the opposite side on the c flag and on the a side on the opposite side of the flag you can shoot through that side so you can only shoot through one direction but there are spawn points on both sides of those if you lay prone and you have bullet penetration ammo on and you're in hardcore mode you can literally just shoot through the containers onto the flags or the spawn points and get kills that way that's honestly the best way to that i got spawn kills or not spawn kills penetration kills with these lmgs um double kills there was a bug at first where you could do these do these double kills honestly in a private match i did most of mine in that but even doing it in regular multiplayer especially uh shipment with a uh, hardcore mode it was really easy doing it that way even this was the most fun camo challenge the gold challenge for the lmgs you had to get one kill but then not hold let go of your trigger to get the second kill so you had to get a double not a double kill but get a second kill without running out of ammo first so that one was really fun it was like the most trolley camo challenge i've seen out of all of these uh suppressed headshot kills really simple three operator kills and one mag that was really simple too like i said all of these that's all honestly my most number one uh, um my number one recommendation that i can give you is just do everything in hardcore mode for the most part you can do it in non-hardcore mode for some other ones especially on tactical rifles now um because marksman rifles are not one shot anymore in regular core mode you can do um you can do a uh, um, hardcore mode and every every one of them is a one shot so one tap it's a one tap to the head no matter what but in in hardcore mode it's a one tap pretty much period you rarely get a hit marker so it's a lot easier just to do these um same thing you don't have to worry about melee the riot shield anymore because the riot shield that that is in here is the modern warfare 2 riot shield so literally all you have to worry about is sniper rifles which you only have to do the modern warfare 3 ones um you only have to do Modern Warfare 3 marksmen, shotguns, etc. etc. Um, as far as secondaries goes, launchers, now that the newer guns have released, you do not have to worry about the launchers. I literally skipped the grenade launcher and I'm not even gonna I don't even want to talk about this thing. <laughs> it's a launcher, but it literally doesn't kill people, so I haven't even tried it yet. Um, the handguns were all fairly easy. The TYR was kind of fun actually. The WSP stingers, surprisingly, as even though they're an automatic pistol, they kind of they were kind of annoying at times i think you had to get hit fire one of them one of the challenges what was it you had to get it's the platinum challenge you had to get hit fire no never mind okay this one you had to get akimbo kills with your stun which was surprisingly hard with this pistol for some reason um but yeah anyways that's all i got to say for you guys i just wanted to give you a few tips that helped me out while i was doing the camel grind that i figure might help some other people out if i give them if you have any other questions about any other um camo challenge tips or something that i maybe didn't touch on leave a comment let me know i want to i want to converse with you guys like if anybody who is watching the videos or who likes the content please like and sub i'm trying to grow over here on youtube so having said that i also am gonna i also am gonna start live streaming over here more often too um, so don't hesitate to stop by and sub to the channels for to get the notifications when I'm live. If there is any, like I said, if there is anything that I didn't touch on, please leave a comment so I can get back with you and I can have a conversation with you in the comments, uh, or I can touch on that or come back and touch on that. Um, otherwise, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.